say, Garvey? As much as I saw of it. I thought the third act was very funny. And so was the second act. I wonder what happened in the first act. We'll never know. You know, Colonel, I, I get tired of mingling with first act intermission crowds and then walking back into the theater with them just like we had tickets. Two thirds of an entertaining evening is better than none. Hi, Colonel. Mr. Garvey. Oh, hello, Eddie. Hello. Aren't you working tonight? Well, I'm a bellboy only during the day. At night, I'm an actor. Oh, excuse me. This is Susan Darnell, Colonel Flack, and Mr. Garvey. How, How do you do? do? How do you do? Hello. Are you in the theater, too? Uh, Susan's a playwright. <laughs> he means I wrote a play. Oh, well, they are? What's it about? The circus. Oh, the big top. That's always thrilling. And the peanuts and popcorn are always filling. <laughs> Sorry, Colonel. When will your play be produced? That's what I'd like to know. I've been trying to see my agents all week to find out. Well, I'm going to wait right here until they come in. They promised to get our play produced and talked about a $500 in the process. So far, they've done exactly nothing. Well, perhaps I can help. Uh, excuse me, uh, Colonel. She has her problems, we have ours. I know. And if we get involved in this, it could cost us. He who steals my purse steals trash. Who said that? Shakespeare. Was he broke, too? <laughs> Darnell, I feel sure your play deserves a better fate than it is received at the hands of your agent. Why, thank you, Colonel. But what can be done? Perhaps we can show them what a three-ring circus really is. And I bet I end up in the sideshow. <laughs> Susan, there they are. Well, I'm going to tell them off once and for all. Don't move. But I've been waiting here for them. Well, 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 a play about a circus. How's that for a coincidence, Garvey? It's very coincidental. <laughs> Do you remember what I said to Tennessee just the other day? Tennessee, Ernie or Williams? He asked me what I thought of his new play. Williams? <laughs> Tennessee, I said, don't you think the world is a little tired of all that violence? What they want is something bright and gay, like a circus. That's what your play's about, hmm? Oh, yes, but... Uh, but th this may just fit in with our plans, don't you think? That depends. On what? <laughs> On our plans. <laughs> That's right. The color of the big tuft, the romance of the center ring, the pathos of the clowns. Well, what are you standing there for? What? You're her agent, aren't you? <laughs> Why, Susan, darling, how are you? Eddie! Hey, we haven't seen you in some time, dear. That isn't my fault. <clears throat> uh, Mr. and Mrs. King, this is Colonel Flack, Mr. Garvey. How do you do? How do, you do? How do you do? It's very interesting. I'm sure you're going to like it. Like what? Susan's play. That's it, isn't it? Does it look like it? <laughs> I didn't see the title. I should hope not. I'm not ready to announce my plans yet. I'll be talking to you. Good night. What's he going to talk to you about? I really don't know. Do you, Eddie? I haven't the faintest idea. My key, please. Oh, yes, Colonel. I didn't know you were in the theater, Colonel. Great acoustics in this place. <laughs> yes. I don't want it to get around, you understand? Oh, yes, sir. And, Colonel, sometime I'd like to audition for you. Oh, are you an actor, too? Everybody in the joint is. <laughs> oh, when I start casting, I'll let you know. Oh, incidentally, Colonel, uh, I'm sure it must have slipped your mind, but the manager asked me to remind you that your bill is overdue. How did this happen? It crept up on me. <laughs> Can't I depend on you for anything? Mr. Garvey will take care of the matter at once, if not sooner. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Colonel. Good night. Come, Garvey. Don't call me Garvey. That's your name? I've just changed it to Patsy. Oh. Good night. Oh, uh, keep in touch. <laughs> that is Susan's play. I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm very anxious to discuss it with you, sir. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not casting yet. Oh, I'm not an actor. Congratulations. We're <laughs> literary agents. Susan is one of our clients. Oh. Eric, uh, my husband, has devoted his life to helping young playwrights. Well, the writer is the lifeblood of the theater. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. As the Bard of Avon put it, the play is the thing. That's so apt. What's the rest of the quote? The play's the thing. The play's the thing. Wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king. King, isn't that your name? Yes. Strange coincidence. <laughs> it's absolutely coincidental. <laughs> Well, that 
is that? Finish it? Yeah. I'm almost through. Don't bother. It's just as bad as it always was. Now, why must you take such a defeatist attitude? Because, darling, he isn't going to be interested in producing this play. Nobody could. Well, who cares if he produces it? He wants to do a play about the circus. He's crazy about the subject. If we can get some option money out of him, that's yeah, enough. But this is such drivel. Oh, now, honey bunch, how many times have we gone to see the play and said, how could anybody in their right mind have bought it? Isn't that true? Yes, but... So I'll convince this Colonel Flack it's a powerful theme, and then I'll spitball some ideas about rewriting it. Just like we do with our clients? That's the ticket. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. Why take a defeatist attitude? Connect me with Colonel Flack, please. Yes? Speaking. Oh, yes, her agent. Have you read the play? Yes, I've read the play. Well, why don't you come up and we can discuss it? We'd like to, Colonel. May we come over right away? Right away? Fine. Bye. How far have you got? The first act. Well? I'll never complain about missing a first act again. <laughs> what did you think of it? Well, as Icarus said when he was unsuccessfully trying to fly through the air, crest endo est erodum. Which means? And this is for the birds. <laughs> then I don't have to worry. About what? Well, I thought you had ideas about producing this play. Oh, no, I have no such ideas. That must be the kings. Let them in. <laughs> Let them in. I'd like to crown them. A suggestion befitting royalty. Open the door. Come in. Oh, thank you. It's nice to see you again. Oh, Mrs. Good King, morning. Mr. King. Uh, hello, Colonel Black. Sit down, won't you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, we're, we're dying to know your reaction to the play. Well, we both had the same reaction. <laughs> Identical. Oh? Uh, which is curious, because generally we disagree. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> I hate yes men, and that's one reason why Garvey and I get along so well. What was your reaction? The same as Mr. Garvey. <laughs> Excuse me. Colonel Flack speaking. Uh, Colonel Flack, this is the desk clerk. Uh, believe me, I don't want to make a nuisance of myself, but the manager insisted that I call you about your bill. Put him on. Oh, he isn't calling. He just asked me to call. Who? Uh, the manager. Put him on. <laughs> Look, uh, maybe I'd better come up and talk to you about it. Please do. Hollywood calling. <laughs> Hello, Marlon. How are you? Marlon? But, Marlon, I, I can't make out what you're saying. Brando. Uh, no, Marlon, I'm not criticizing your diction. Say it once more, slowly. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, help yourself to a drink. Oh, don't worry about us. Uh, Marlon, I think I've got the part of a lifetime for you. Yes, I can't talk about it now, but you look rather well in tights, don't you? Tights? Circus? <laughs> Shakespeare? Uh, no, it's not Shakespeare. Uh, well, it's difficult to talk about it on the phone. It's a modern play. Uh, I'll write you. Goodbye. Oh, that Marlon, what a character. I've always been a great admirer of Marlon's. Who? Wasn't that Marlon Brando? <laughs> oh, sorry, no casting for that. Uh, Colonel, honestly, I don't want to press you, but I've got to. What about your bill? Bill? Uh, since you've heard about it, you might as well come in. <laughs> You've been eavesdropping again at your switchboard, haven't you? What? Why, no, sir. Then how did you find out about my bill? Well, oh, just through the normal... How? Three days ago, a conference was held in Hollywood. A deal was set for a TV series. Everyone at that conference was sworn to secrecy. Today, this happens. I'm afraid well, I... Well, there's don't... no need to apologize. As an actor, it's your business to find out about these things. But Bill is just the working title. It'll probably be called Bill and Jill. <laughs> Jill is Bill's wife. You're going to do a TV series? No, we all have to make some sacrifices. <laughs> Are you over six feet? Why, not necessarily. What do you think? Uh, he's too tall for Jill. When I'm ready to audition, I'll let you know. Oh, thank you. Uh, Colonel, about that other little matter now... Are you referring to money? Well, frankly, yes. Well, this is much too early to talk about that. <laughs> you know, it's extraordinary how these things leak out. Uh, where were we? You were going to tell us about your reaction to the play. What play was that? Uh, about the circus. Oh, yes, 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 of course. I was very interested in the symbol of the clown. He represents all mankind, right? Uh, yes. And yet, in the second act, he's the symbol of the animal world. Well, I... Uh... And in the third act, he represents the artist. I'm a little confused. Mr. Garvey and I felt the same way. But what was your overall feeling about it? A powerful theme. We think so, too. But it lacks something. Oh, what's that? A story. <laughs> but the theme is powerful. Uh, yes. Timely. Yes. Timely? 
Well, I'm already late for another appointment. It was so nice of you to drop in. Uh, uh, Colonel, I, I don't... Well, I don't know, we, we'll discuss it at length tomorrow afternoon. Well, Any time in the morning, I... afternoon, I'll call you. Well, I... <laughs> I think it's fair to assume that we have them slightly confused. Yeah, they could shake hands with me. Uh, our contract to Susan's play must be in here somewhere. I know it. I don't know why you're bothering to look for it. I don't think he even likes the play. Well, he didn't say he didn't. He didn't say he did. In fact, I don't know what he said. Well, he said the theme was powerful. But he said the story was weak. He said it was timely. And confusing. <laughs> I bet I know what he's up to. What? He wants us to be in doubt. Why? If he lets on he's really interested, the price goes up. This way he figures he can grab it quick. Why, he may even deal with Susan directly and leave us out in the cold. <laughs> well, he can't do that. Oh, oh, look, here it was all the time. Here's the contract. Good. Two more months to go. When we see Colonel Flack tomorrow, I'll make sure he knows about this. Well, the eruption only has two more months to go. Good. There you are, Colonel, but I still don't know why you want it. Well, when their option runs out, it automatically reverts to me. You mean you're going to do Susan's play? I am going to do a production. Do you understand, Mr. Garvey? Not yet, but I'm afraid I will. <laughs> you're going to do a production? Yes, and I have a small part for you, Eddie. Yeah, what? A voice on the telephone. That's my luck. <laughs> and Susan, I have a job for you, too. What's that? Go home and wait for your agents to call. What are they going to call about? Money. <laughs> Garvey, you've never written a play, have you? Not to my knowledge. Good. Then I have a very interesting job for you. Doing what? As an ancient Latin poet once said, veritas non disputandum est. Which means? Doing what comes naturally. <laughs> ah, here we are. Hello, how are you? Hello, Colonel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sit down. Ah, thank you. I must apologize for the constant interruptions we had yesterday. Oh, that's perfectly all right, Colonel. Lovely weather we're having, don't you think? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Colonel, may I be direct? By all means. I got the impression that you're more than casually interested in the play. Oh, I'm never guilty of a casual interest. Oh, then you are interested. In what? In our client's play. Uh, what play is that again? <laughs> play about the circus. Oh, yes. Powerful theme. I'm very anxious to resolve this confusion. Are you or are you not interested in Susan Darnell's play? Interested how? In producing it. Producing it? Well, whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> you gave us the impression that... Yes? Marlon Brando in tights? <laughs> I don't know. It sounded like the circus to us. I'm afraid you're jumping to a conclusion. I've always wanted to do a play about the circus. For years, I've been searching for the right script. I still haven't found it. No, oh. no, no, no. Do sit down. Let's talk about other things. I have a definite feeling there's snow in the air. Uh, Colonel, before we leave the subject, I have some ideas about rewriting that may interest you. Oh, by all means. We have all afternoon. No appointments, no interruptions. Well, uh, I... What was that? What? Did you hear someone at the door? No. I thought I heard someone knock. <laughs> there you are. You see <laughs> Yes, Daddy. -o. How did you get here so early? Flu, man, flu. But your plane wasn't due until tonight. Who waited for the plane? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. and Mrs. King, this is Yip Yap Hank, mad but one of the most talented writers in Hollywood. One of the most. I am the most. How oh, you do? Uh, where's that square? Garvey, he's out. You ain't kidding. He's way out. How are things in Hollywood? Oh, crazy. Just built myself a new swimming pool. I thought you had a swimming pool. This one's for the help. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Hollywood's great, but no culture. You know what I mean. Yep, you're here to work. Got my little rat to tent tent right here, ready to fly. Oh, by the way, got a jingle from Marlon before I left. He's flipped on this whole thing, you know. And in tights, he'd be the most. Well, he's always wanted to play a wrestler. What's the problem with playing? Uh, let me get you a copy of it. Uh, we'll just be a moment. I want to get him started. Uh, certainly. Um, I'm hip. You understand what this represents? No theater large enough for elephants and giraffes. Need them for local color. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> Madison Square Garden. In the garden? Crazy. <laughs> Suppose you start reading it. Uh, perhaps we better oh, no, leave. No, 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 no. Please sit down. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, do you think it'll snow? 
I really don't... Uh, Colonel, I couldn't help overhearing, but uh, you're doing a legitimate play in Madison Square Garden? Oh, please, this must remain absolutely confidential. It's never been done before, and I don't want anyone to steal the idea. It's very novel. And so appropriate. A play about wrestling. Are you sure it's not about the circus? Colonel Flack speaking. It's me, Colonel. Eddie, what do I say? Oh, you don't say. You told me to call. Well, you didn't have to. But I'm going to hang up. Yes, do that. <laughs> These long-distance calls. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yes, I'm ready. Put him on. Hello, John. How's everything? Oh, stop complaining. I'd like to have what you'll make on the peanut concession alone. <laughs> How's the weather in Sarasota? Sarasota? Winter quarters. Circus. Uh, did you get my wire? It looks like a perfect opportunity to combine our forces. Of course, the play needs work, but it's a powerful theme. See you in the garden. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Chile and Sarasota. How is John Ringling North? North? I was talking to Sarasota. That's in the south. Uh, now, what was it we were talking about? <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, man, this pissed me. <laughs> this is the most but funny. Well, that's supposed to be a serious play. Well, that's what makes it so funny. Lots of rewrite here, Daddy-O. Big rewrite. That's what you're here for. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> what is this? Anyone can see it's a false moustache. I knew something was going on. Only it came off. I'm clumsy. Garvey, it didn't work. I thought he looked familiar. Colonel, I think you owe us an explanation. Well, it's simple. You have an option on Susan Darnell's play. We certainly do. Which expires in two months. Exactly, and you're after it. You see, I was right. If you'll read this agreement, you'll see that I have an option to take up the option when your option expires. <laughs> and I don't mind waiting two months. I suppose you think you're pretty clever, don't you? I like to deal directly with the authors. Well, you'll never deal directly with Susan. What do you mean? If you'd read the fine print in her contract, you'd see that we have an option to renew when her original option expires. Oh, I see. So if you want to buy that play, you'll have the deal through me. What do you say now? You've got yourself a deal. Now you're talking. I'll give you 5% of the gross against an advance of 5,000. 5,000? Very well, 10,000. Well, <laughs> when do we get the advance? When you exercise your option to renew your option. You don't anticipate any difficulty. None, whatever. Telephone me as soon as you complete arrangements. Oh, Colonel, this project sounds so exciting. Marlon Brando, Madison Square Garden, why it could be historic. Well, now that you're part of the deal, I can let you in on the biggest secret of all. The name of the director I'm trying to get. Who? You promise you won't mention his name? Oh, we won't. And if he can't do it, J.B. will. J.B.? What did he stage? I can't tell you. Well, let me know as soon as you complete arrangements with the author. Oh, uh, we will. Yes, goodbye. Uh, what's going to make them give Susan any money for the option? Not what. Who? All right, who's going to make them? J.B. J.B.? Who's he? Shake hands with yourself. Oh, well, if I'm going to stage this show, it's got to be a turkey. <laughs> but this turkey will lay a golden egg. Where? Right in Susan's bank account. Send her right up, please. Susan? Yes. Now, listen, honey. Don't squawk if I offer a couple of hundred for the option. But why is it necessary? She knows that Colonel Flack is interested. What's a couple of hundred compared to an advance of 10,000? But we haven't got it yet. Honey bunch, how cautious can you get? That can't be her already. Colonel Flagg. J.B. is here. Mr. and Mrs. King, J.B. Charming, charming. This is a great honor. We've heard a great deal about you, J.B. I, uh, I hear you've written a charming play. Oh, no, no, J.B., they're not the authors. No? They represent the author. Agents? Ooh. No, no, wait, 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 J.B. Uh, the author is on her way up right now. Oh, then I wait. Uh, meanwhile, you can read the play. Too long. It'll be cut. <laughs> then I read. Oh, excuse me. Who's in? Come in. Guess who's here? J.B., the director. Really? Uh, J.B., may I present Miss Susan Darnell? Charming, charming. Will she be my assistant? She's the author. Oh. We were just going to discuss the option arrangements with Susan. Well, you go right ahead. J.B. will read the play. Well, thank you. Here we are, Susan. This is our new agreement. That is good. Now, you sign right here. 
Uh, that comes a little soon. I hope this isn't going to cost me anything. You're right. We can't allow that. Oh, no. We're going to pay you for the extended option. $400. Uh, there should be more. <laughs> Only 400 All right. Five. <laughs> J.B., that's very funny. Hilarious. I think we can make it twice as funny. I want $1,000. That's a good line. And it'll play well. Susan, you must be fooling. That's a good exit line. I'm leaving. Uh, sign it. Sign it right here. I'll give you a thousand. Uh, finished? Yes, turn the page. <laughs> sign it. I'll give you a check. That's bad. Yes, you can't bank on that line. I don't want a check. I want cash. Cash? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, that's a perfect exit line for scene four. I'm leaving. Now, now, sit down. All right, all right. Here we are. Now, will you kindly sign it, please? Susan, dear, we have some business to discuss with the Colonel. Would you mind running along? All right. Goodbye, all. Uh, goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> well, gentlemen, here we are, the option all set. Good. J.B., we're all set. Yes, you are set. I am not. Well, what do you mean? This play, it is lousy. But you haven't finished it. I've read enough. I am sick of the circus. <laughs> what sort of play do you want to do? A play with violence. Oh, a musical? Violence, violence, like Tennessee writes. Well, I have a lovely play about violence, laid in the deep south. That I like, Count. But, Colonel, what about our play? Uh, J.B. doesn't want to do it. But there are other directors. Nobody directs my plays except J.B. Now, the first scene is laid on the Mississippi level. That I like. Oh, but there's more. There's 25 riverboats coming. <laughs> hoping we'd catch you. We want to thank you for everything you've done for us. Not only us, but after the lesson you've taught them, maybe the kings won't be so anxious to cheat other young people. No thanks are necessary. We're used to such problems. That's right. With the colonel, it's just one problem after another. <laughs> colonel, it was wonderful of you to get back my $500 for me. But the rest of this is yours. Oh, no. It is yours. Hmm? And now I have some wonderful news for you. You're going to start another play? <laughs> no, we're getting married. Both of us are giving up the theater. Uh, well, if you're getting married, you better take back the 500. It'll help start you off on the right foot. Oh, no, Colonel. We're headed right now. The theater isn't for us. Well, I realize now I haven't understood the people or their ways. So you keep the money and use it to help others. As much as you've helped this happy couple. I know a couple who could use it. <laughs> well, we'll use it to help the aspiring young actors in this hotel. Like the young man at the desk. Oh, we've got to go now, Colonel. Oh, by the way, how'd you get away from the kings? I don't think they ever knew what hit them. And they'll leave before they find out. To take heed of the ancient Roman sign that hung on the Appian Way, in postulari via brava. Which means? Uh, let's help them hit the road. <laughs> give us away. I'm positive. But the colonel must have left some forwarding address. Well, yes, but I'm not at liberty to give it out. But we have got to get in touch with him. Well, I'm sorry. Those are my instructions. Well, um, here are some new instructions. Oh, thank you. Now, where do they go? Well, uh, they went south to do some research for a play. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, yes, here it is. Hotel Transvaal, South Africa. South Africa. They said the play's about the deep south. Oh, no. Come on, dear. How was that, Colonel? One of the finest auditions I've ever heard. Thank you. First audition I ever got paid for. We'll be testing for that part soon. Now let you know the time. Yes, sir. Colonel, how much longer do you think you'll go for that routine? Well, as Thespis, the Greek god of actors, once said, est tudoro swiftorum. Which means? As long as he has the ham instinct. <laughs> <laughs>